But first tonight, new information on a thrill kill. A convicted killer is a free man tonight after serving only 13 years of a 35-year sentence following the brutal murder of an innocent woman. We first told you about Alfred Brissett's impending release last night at 11. And today, Brissett walked out of the ACI in Cranston, a free man. Tonight, a state lawmaker is renewing his effort to prevent convicted murders from being released early. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has new details on a story that Target 12 investigators have been tracking for years. Well, a bill that would require convicted first and second degree murderers to serve at least half their sentence behind bars was passed unanimously by the Senate, but died in the House last year. So this year, a state senator is bringing that bill back and adding another to make sure convicted murderers like Alfred Brissett serve their time. Alfred Brissett, sentenced to 60 years in the brutal murder of Jeanette de Coteau. He only served 13. Andrew Jett and Robert Lamoureux, both convicted of murder and sentenced to 40 years. They both served just 18 years, got out of jail, and both committed murder again. What does that tell you? It tells you that the system is broken. Senator Lou Raptak has tried to fix that broken system last year, and he is planning to do it again this year. It's time that we uh, pull in the reins and we start uh, passing legislation that mandates when an individual is going to be released from jail. Senator Raptakis plans to introduce a bill that would require individuals convicted of first or second degree murder to serve at least 50% of their original sentence before being eligible for parole. That would mean a convicted murderer like Brissett, who received a 60-year sentence, would have to serve at least 30 years, not 13. So when someone commits murder, the message should be crystal clear. You commit a first or second degree murder, you should serve the time that is given to you by the judicial system. Senator Raptakis says letting convicted murderers out too soon is an injustice to victims' families and risks the public safety. Another bill he plans to introduce would increase time served from 20 years to 35 years before murderers could petition a parole board to get out of jail. And the bill will be introduced the first day that the General Assembly reconvenes, which is January 7th. Now, if this bill were to pass, it would be effective for future convictions. It will not be retroactive. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.